hello friends welcome back today I'm going to give demo on J meter especially I'm going to give demo on uh, J meter API automation so for um, we covered uh, how we can automate web services using SOAP UI using Postman and today uh, we are going to talk about uh, J meter how we can use J meter uh, for API automation and API testing generally JMeter is used for a performance uh, as a performance tool uh, to test a load and a response um, because it provides a lot of uh, you know uh, dashboard uh, where you can see the graphs generated uh, generated for the loads and uh, response uh, time taken and all that so but now in today's session we are going to concentrate on JMeter for API automation and API testing and also as part of this demo uh, we will cover um, get method how to configure the uh, APIs in JMeter and how, how to add assertions and how to generate dashboard uh, once we ran the suit so that's all pretty much i have for the demo let's start one by one and uh, let's see how what we need and how we can configure all that okay let's start <clears throat> to set up um, uh, j meter in your system uh, you need jdk to be installed that's the prerequisite if your system is having jdk 1.8 then you can download 4.0 version jmeter 4.0 version it's open source and if the system is configured with 1.7 or less than that uh, go for 3.3 2.7 and lesser version of 4.0 if you are using 4.0 then go your your jdk should be 1.8 and above that's the basic prerequisite that you should have then go to uh, this url jmeter.apache.org download and you have binary sign source don't download from the source always go with the binary zip okay sometimes what happens if you if you are downloading from here uh, some of the files might got corrupted due to which um, the reports uh, will not generate properly or you may not run jmeter properly so to avoid that always download from the binaries okay that's the one thing once you download it uh, the zip of file will come something like this okay download to your local then zip will come something like this then unzip it then after the unzip the file lo folder look uh, looks like this then go to bin here to launch jmeter there are two ways to do one directly go to the folder bin and look for it jmeter bat file that is here otherwise you go to command prompt and you know um, uh, run go to this path and look for this bat file so double click this file what it does it will launch the jmeter uh, GUI window okay um, so once this is launched then what we can do we will see how to configure apis okay now this is done so th this is how it looks like by default you will get a plan created what you have to do you just rename the plan um, say jmeter demo okay then once that is done save this I'm going to save it on my local under jmeter demo jmeter demo okay I'll delete this okay let me create one more one then okay what I'll do I after that um, I will save later okay after that what you have to do once plan created under that you go for a thread create thread group okay here you name as uh, get 
country because I'm going to walk through on get country API get country API okay then save okay save it so I'll repeat by default once you launch you will be having a test plan under that you have to have a trade group rename it save it don't do any extra configuration here which is not required then go to trade group go to add go to sampler since you are working on a http request or api testing select this or else you have many more options here for example if you want to do jdbc connectivity ftp related all that you can do here j unit testing and all that i am going to give demo on api today so i am going to select http request so this is the http request window again here rename okay get country all so here you can see this is splitted into four parts normally when we go for a api testing this is what we get the url right so if you observe the window that we got here it's bit and pieces so we have to configure that since it's a basic http request i'm giving http here and I have to mention the service name or IP so generally copy this much only dot com dot in dot net or uh, dot org whatever till that time only uh, that uh, much only then you paste here since it's a get method select get mainly when we are testing API we are going to deal with get post put and delete method others rarely we use which is not required for us since it's a get method select get and here if you see the path then the remaining path what is left over from dot com you have to copy as it is and paste so this is all pretty much i'm done with the configuration of api in the jmeter let's save this okay then run see it's running it's got but nothing here not able to see what happened well, where is the result right so to view the result what we have to do again go to trade group here go to add go to listener see view result tree click that now we got the tree now save this and run right now we got something like this since it's a positive it's a coming in green if any error occurred it will come in red it's a 200 means success what request we got it's a get data and what response we got we got all countries and their iso code right how many 249 records found in this api and all of them listed here okay my next level of uh, testing is I want to get a specific a particular country from this API right how to do that so to do that I have one more API right I have to go for a ISO code and specific country ISO code name so what we do again go here or you copy this already created one copy and paste it in the trade group okay see something like this and here you rename this with India right uh, not like this let me delete this we'll add it okay India and uh, since till here it's uh, same right till dot com you don't have to do anything but our path get changed here so just take the path copy okay and replace the all with this specific country path okay now let's add again listener tree okay listener view result tree now save this and run it ran both if you see here it's 200 what is request it's a get data what is response we got only 
India because in the path of this India we have specifically mentioned I want this one right in the country API if you go here we got everything so generally this is how we can test using uh, JMeter but the testing will not end here okay we have to make sure that the HTTP codes are coming correctly and uh, uh, we have to have some assertion let's see what type of assertion that we can uh, do here go add assertion and select response assertion okay now for this api uh, i want to see response message right contains um, contains what here india okay then select here go here add assertion response assertion here i will say um uh, response okay before that uh, let me see what is here mm, should contain this All right copy this control c go here and go to response assertion response message or you can go for uh, this also i'll tell response message add and say this is what you are expecting right then <clears throat> we can add one more uh, assertion by giving response code and things like that let's see let's see how it works save this view result tree and run okay some error i got let's see what is that response assertion okay so here it's saying um assertion failure message message expected to contain total 249 records and what it is india contain india message expected to contain india so something happened in the assertion let's go back and see why right contains message or add India right let's save this and run again failure should be fine but let's see what happens let's uh, resolve that uh, uh, assertion issue so what we did till now like uh, <coughs> we added assertion to verify like uh, whether we are getting the as expected result so what I, what we did was for get country we added one assertion for that we are trying to verify response code should be 200 right 200 means success and for get country india we added text response as like in because the is code for uh, india is in or ind okay let's save this and uh, run so now both are pass it means the assertion got passed let's play around on assertion so suppose you want to uh, you are expecting ind one two two five something like this then here you are expecting uh, 200 only so what happens here this will get pass and this will get fail right let's uh, let's see that correct this will pass and this will fail because it's expecting something like this since uh, the body um you know the body has nothing like that i n 25 nothing is here so uh, it's expecting this that's why it got failed right so vice versa also like now you remove this only expect what is actually it should come 
okay keep that much and here you say uh, I'm expecting 400 uh, 400 okay and this um, the custom failure message you can use uh, for yourself like uh, uh, you can customize your error message say uh, I am expecting 400 I'm expecting 400 right save this and what happens now this will get fail and here it will get pass right get country all will get fail and uh, get country India will get pass right because this is see I am expecting 400 but actually I got 200 right I got 200 response code but actually I was expecting 400 here right so let's change that let me 200 and uh, remove this or you can say I'm expecting 200 okay uh, save this go to view result tree then run you get both pass right both got pass so this is how uh, you can add assertion to a your APIs clear so far so then what the what we can do the next level validation or reporting uh, which is main for any automation right uh, we'll do that uh, before that you can also add listeners listeners means reporting style like something you know summary report and also you can add uh, you know you can add uh, uh, sample data writer accession result and you know and you can you can customize your uh, basically your reporting uh, pattern here and view result in table right now now let's see how it comes okay let's run see view result in table assertion summary report right this is how it looks like you can you can for each api you can customize your report and you can run or you you put it down uh, below to this okay let's get the report for all uh, right and right now what happens let's see how it comes we got get country get india summary report for india and uh, all and we result get country all assertion result get country all all that right so see how it works for example we go and change here okay to uh, 2001 save I'll show how it works right it's running ran go to assertion result right view result in table right here it got I'm expecting 200 but the assertion says it's coming 201 but here you're not capturing that because we did change here so let's let 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 me add one more assertion report here okay listener and assertion result and what is this uh, result okay go here and run right so it ran see a session result the error is captured here because you are the you are expecting to own 2001 but you got 200 
right so if there is only error then only this assertion result will get captured if there is no error all good then it's all good so this is how we can do um, API automation using JMeter so till now we learned <coughs> get configuration now let's try by adding one more thread group for put okay put api now what i'll do i'll create one http request and i already have put uh, sorry uh, this should be post uh, post api okay post api and i have already got one post api uh, for finding out ip address some ip address okay now let's the configuration wise little different when it comes to get and post so in post we have to pass the body that should be in application json or xml json xml something like that and we have to pass the body also so how let's see how this can be done using jmeter again the <coughs> process remains same copy the service or ip name okay provide here and also look for HTTP or HTTPS. It's HTTP and type here HTTP. There is no path, extended path available here as like this. So no need to pass any path. Then select method as a post. Okay, then select the body data. Suppose if you're using any attachment document, select form data, then attach the document and submit it since i am not using any attachment i am going to pass the body right enable body and this is the body that i got this is in json format right the difference here is when you have get method you don't have to do all this but when you have post method you have to pass the body that is what a post expect you should pass some content now the content is what application json so if you see here there is no content adding option right so what we have to do we have to go to add then go to configure element here go to http header manager okay now click on add and here you pass content type it's a mandatory for post you have to tell the api that what is your content type sometime it can be json sometime it can be xml okay that's what i am explicitly adding and telling to api that you accept this content type save this okay then this should come before this just replace now you all set to submit the um, you know jmeter request now let's save this and uh, uh, you know run this it ran again same story add listener view result tree now again run it ran go to view result tree it pass this is the response i got if you don't mention this is the content type that you are passing then you can't run you cannot get this again if you want to add assertion you can add assertion right you can add assertion you can add uh, anything here whatever uh, you know and also you can add any table formatting result view resulting table and all that again same story okay then again run 
go to view result this is second run and result here something like that again add a session and tell what you are expecting in this api and all that this is pretty much for configuring the get and post and now let's see the very important uh, part that is getting the dashboard of this uh, services right so for we configured we had some assertion rules and all that but the main part is to communicate it in a reporting so for that it's a very easy you don't have to do anything it's by default jmeter will have some facility to generate the dashboard so we do that so what you have to do once this all testing configuration is done okay then what you have to do there is a command <coughs> will command you have to pass in the command prompt so basically this is the command that i am going to run in the command prompt what it means is to generate the dashboard i need jtl report then i will convert jtl report to a readable html format and this is my suit name right if you remember we have saved right in the local we have saved jmeter demo and this is what the jms that we saved right Let's get this uh, path um, one minute let me copy paste all this okay control c control v okay then replace this with the jmeter demo and get the path of current right folder path this is the one right copy as it is okay replace that with here and here i'm saying create one test right i don't need this jmx is not required okay then i'm also will say generate the html report in the same folder remove this just say result now your command is ready just see this is the jmeter run command okay and this is where my jmx that means where this suit is saved in the form of jmx that folder path and this is jtl jtl is required to generate the dashboard once jtl is created it will convert into html format right yeah, all you have to do is you have to give the folder path where you want to see the result that's it okay then copy and go to command prompt right go to command prompt before that what you have to do is go to your bin directory jmeter bin directory in command prompt now i am in the bin now you copy this complete then paste here enter if there is no error it will generate the report in the same table but here we got error could not create window return code error code country api so the reason is if you look my folder structure i have some spaces right ideally when you are running multiple command 
then you will not have right so what I did I removed space here okay I removed one space there now my folder part becomes like this no space between now what I'll do I'll take the uh, JMX file path right this is my JMX file path I'll copy this and let's edit the previous command that is something this see if you look here there is a uh, space right then replace all that okay replace all that I don't need here JMX replace that okay then here also I don't need this path replace and remove JMX here okay I think now we are good so let's see whether it will run or not okay I'm in bin folder of JMeter same copy paste and let's see if there are no error it will it should run return the error uh, warning we can ignore oh, okay it's running it's also tidying up and it will create one dashboard now so all this warning one warning I got you don't have to you know worry on that now end of run it's pretty much done now so go to the same folder see I got one TST if you observe before that uh, we got only two JMX file I got one JTL file because I asked JMeter to create one JTML uh, JTL file and I asked J JMeter to create one HTML right see this is the result folder if you open this index you will see whatever we had here in terms of scenarios that we have created that will come in a beautiful dashboard right so the dashboard looks something like this right we got how many APS three APS right all three APS listed out and this is how the dashboard looks errors means all assertion error will come here if there are no errors errors will not display here this is the graph generated all okay there is no error in the test case and this is the chart something like this it will create uh, you know you can see plenty of uh, chart here and uh, you know whatever you want to view against latency over time and all that so if if your load is bigger then all this will be you know useful to read out since I add only three APS then there will not be enough graph generated out of that right see this is how the dashboard looks like and this is very useful when you send a result to your stakeholders or uh, they will be you know they can easily see the response time everything any errors and all that so this is a good way of generating the report right so uh, let me go back and uh, explain what we did so first you have to download <coughs> you have to download the Apache okay from Apache website JMeter website from the binaries then launch the JMeter from the bin folder look for a JMeter bat file once it's launched something like this will appear then by default you have a test plan you have to create one group under that then add API if it is a get select the get you have to split the APIs into three parts one is HTTP part other one is service part other one is path if the request is uh, post then you have to add a post body but to tell the API this is what content then you have to add explicitly a data manager then you have to provide what it is okay then run this once this is all done assertion everything done then 
go to command prompt run the script through command prompt what it does basically it creates one jtl file and also it creates one xml uh, html file which is which is you know which is very readable format and it gives you the clear uh, data that the response time execution assertion and graphs so that's all uh, from my end for today's session and uh, thanks for watching this